Welcome to my lecture on life cycle costing. If you are coming across my lecture for the first time, please like the video, share it with others, and subscribe so that you don't miss my upcoming videos. If you are a returning subscriber, I say thank you for being part of this channel. Life cycle costing is an approach that tracks and accumulates costs and revenues over the entire life of the product. Life cycle costing is an approach that tracks and accumulates accumulates cost and revenues attributable to the product attributable to the product over its entire life. Life cycle costing is an approach that tracks and accumulates costs and revenues attributable to the product over its entire life. It is used to determine the total expected profitability of a product over its entire life. It is used to determine the total expected profitability of a product over its entire life. So to compute the life cycle cost per unit, life cycle cost per unit will be total cost of the product, total cost of the product over its life, over its entire life, over its entire life divided by total units of the product over its entire life. So, what are the stages? Stages in product life cycle. The product life cycle. You have sales and the profit. Then we have time. Time, this is profit, this is a uh, sales revenue, sales revenue, sales or revenue. Then we have the development stage, development. Then introduction, introduction. After introduction, we have a growth, growth, growth. After growth, we have maturity. It is mature at this level. After maturity, we have decline. So at this stage, the product began to de decline. Number one stage is development stage. Development. Or development phase of the product. At this stage, Costs are incurred, but the product is not yet in the market, and there is no sales revenue. If you look at this stage, 
there is no sales revenue. This is revenue line. This is revenue line. It starts from here. So at this stage, revenue line, there is no revenue at that level. So the organization will be incurring development costs, like research expenditure, development expenditure, all those costs will be incurred at that stage. After development stage, the second stage is introduction. Introduction. If you look at the graph, the product has been introduced into the market and it's making some sales. Though the sales at this level is very little. At the introduction stage, I've told you the product has been introduced to the market. Potential customers are yet to be aware of the product. So the organization may need to spend heavily on advertisement to create the awareness of the product, to tell people about the product. So at the, the, the introduction stage. So no more sales at that level. The entity may be incurring loss, they may be making loss. They may be making loss because they'll be spending heavily. A lot of costs will be spent at this level. And sales will still be very low at the introduction stage. The third stage is growth. Growth stage. If you look at it now, sales is increasing at this level. So at the growth stage, the product gains a bigger market as the demand increases. Sales revenue will also increase and the product will begin to make profit. Number four, we have maturity. Maturity, if you look at this stage, the sales revenue is fairly constant. At the maturity stage, the demand for the product will appear stable. Demand will be stable as the product has reached its peak level. So at this stage, the product is already at its peak. The entity will be able to make profit, then the sales will remain fairly constant. The demand will remain constant at the maturity stage. Number five, we have decline. Decline. If you look at this stage, revenue began to fall at this level. Revenue began to fall and profit too is falling. So at this stage, demand will start to fall and eventually the product will become a loss maker. So these are the stages in product life cycle. Now I want to take a question as work example. Example one, Fitco specializes in the manufacture of a small range of high-tech products for the fitness market. They are currently considering the development of a new type of fitness monitor, which will be the first of its kind in the market. It will take one year to develop. We say then commencing at the beginning of the second year. The product is expected to have a life cycle of two years before it is replaced with a technologically superior product. The following cost estimates have been made. We have year one, year two, year three. Units manufactured and sold. Year two, 100,000. Year three, 200,000. Research and development cost, 160,000 naira were incurred in year one. Product design cost, 800,000 naira in year one. Marketing cost, 1.2 million naira in year one. 1 million naira in year two. 1 million 750,000 naira in year three. Manufacturing cost, which comprises variable cost per unit, year two, 40 naira. Year three, 42 naira. Build production cost, year one. 650,000 naira, year two, 1 million to 90,000 naira. Distribution cost, which comprises variable cost per unit, year two, 4 naira, year three, 4 naira, 50 cobo. This distribution cost, year two, 120,000 naira, year three, 120,000 naira. Selling cost, comprises variable cost per unit, year two, 3 naira, year three, 3 naira, 20 cobo. This selling cost, Year two, 180,000 naira. Year three, 180,000 naira. Administration cost. Year one, 200,000 naira. Year two, 900,000 naira. Year three, 1.5 million naira. Note, you should ignore the time value of money. Required. Calculate the life cycle cost per unit. This question is obtained. 
from workout performance management by Omolewa. Let's have the solution to the question. Solution. You are to calculate the life cycle cost per unit. Let's have calculation of life cycle cost. Let's first of all calculate the total cost. So, back to the question. You were told the cost include research and development cost. 160,000 that were incurred in year one. Then we have product design cost of 800,000. Research and development cost. Year one, 160,000 naira. Then we have product design cost. Product design cost of 800,000 naira were equally incurred. Were equally incurred in year one. Back to the question. We have marketing cost. 1.2 million naira in year one. Year two, 1 million. Year three, 1 million 750,000. You are going to sum them up. You add them together. The marketing cost. Marketing cost. Year one, 1 1.2 million. Year two, 1 million. Year three, 1 million 750,000. So what is the total? Then you have three million nine fifty thousand. Back to the question. You have manufacturing cost, which comprises variable cost. 40 naira and 42 naira in year two and three, respectively. Variable eh, manufacturing cost, manufacturing cost, which comprises variable year two, 40 naira. And the number of units produced. If the variable manufacturing cost in year two is 40 naira, 100,000 units were produced in year two. In year three, the variable manufacturing cost is 42 naira. The units produced is 200,000. So year two, 40 times 100,000 plus 42 times 200,000. That is total 12.4 million naira. Then we also have fixed manufacturing cost. Fixed manufacturing cost. Year two, 650,000. Year three, 1 million to 90,000. So we have 650,000 plus 1 million to 90. So let's sum them up. We have one million nine forty thousand. Back to the question. You have distribution cost, which comprises variable cost for the year two. Remember, one hundred thousand units were produced in year two. 450 cover and 200,000 units were produced in year 3. So we have distribution cost we have variable the variable is 4 naira 
times 100,000 units, which were produced in year two, plus that of year three. The variable is 4 naira 50 cobra times 200,000 units produced in year three. So we have 1.3 million naira. Then we also have feast. Feast distribution cost. Feast distribution cost. Year two, 120,000. Year three, 120,000. That will be total. 240. Thousand. We have selling cost. Selling cost. Back to the question. We have selling cost variable. Three near year two. Three near twenty cobo. Multiplied by the units produced. Hundred thousand and two hundred thousand for year two and three, respectively. So variable. Variable selling cost. Year two. We have. 3 naira times 100,000 units produced plus year 3, 3 naira 20 cover multiplied by 200,000 units produced in year 3. So we have 3.2 times 200,000 plus this will be 300,000. That is totaled. 9 40,000. We also have fees. The fees are limits of selling cost. Back to the question. We have fees selling cost. 180,000 for each of the year two and three. 180,000 plus 180,000. 180, that will be total. 360,000. Back to the question. We have administration cost 200,000, 900,000, and 1.5 million for year one, two, and three, respectively. Administration cost year one, 200,000, year two, 900,000, year three, 1.5 million. Now, if you sum it up, that will be total, 2.6 million. What is the total cost? Total cost. Let's add up everything. 160,000 plus 800,000 plus 3 million 950,000 plus 1.4 million plus 1 million 940,000 Plus 1.3 million plus 240,000 plus 940,000 plus 360,000 plus 2.6 million. The total cost is 24 million. 690,000. So, your cost per unit, if you go back to the requirement, you have to calculate the life cycle cost per unit. Life cycle cost per unit, which will be total cost 
or 24 million 690,000 divided by total units manufactured. 100,000 plus 200,000. 100,000 plus 200,000. This will be 24 million 690,000 divided by 300. Thousand. The sum of this is three hundred thousand. So you have, therefore, life cycle cost per unit. That is eighty two naira thirty carbon. This is the end of the solution to the question. In my next video, I will consider a comprehensive work example that we involve the application of learning curve in the product life cycle. Please don't forget to like the video, share it with others, thanks for watching Ezekiel.